the hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. So, Miss Navia was right. Fair enough. Guess we'll just have to... Then first, we have to restore the sky back to its original state. All right. Adding in the ones we picked up on the way here, I think that's all of them. In the sky? Uh, how do we get up there? Oh, <laughs> I got us covered. We will, of course, be taking the Aerial Express. Is that a flying train? Hey, you already took a train that runs on water. Is a flying train really that much weirder? Well, at least the Maritime Express still runs on a track! Oh, come on, don't worry about it. This train has been bl It took me a lot of effort to find it, you know. I don't think- A hundred years? Are you sure it's safe? Let's not forget that the Goddess of Prophecy's magic has been going haywire recently! Well, it's not like we have any other options. Unless you want to do the honors, Paimon. Fancy flying up there on your own? Uh, no, thank you. It's way too high up. Oh, wait, Milu. You've got a feel for how magic works here. I can try. Hmm. Okay, fine. Guess there's... That's the spirit. I think I'll stay behind. That makes sense. If the train does break down, you can make us a giant origami crane to come bail us out. Or if a crane's too difficult, a finch could work. <laughs> <laughs> So the stars hanging in the sky, they're music notes. This entire metropole is a huge music box. <sighs> How do you feel? Uh, a little scared and uncertain. But for some reason, I feel a lot more at ease. Uh, figured out any next step? To be honest, not really. I have an idea. You mean the people who got stuck? I mean anyone and everyone who needs your help. What kind of experience? Hmm... Ah, uh, yes. We'll need a formal organization with a catchy name before we go out and start helping people. Why don't we call it... The Spina di Rosula? Spina... Ooh, or even... The Spina di Rosula di Simulonka. Yeah, that's catchy. Wow, big expansion for the Spina. Moving into other worlds now. Spina di Rosula. <laughs> well then, how about I appoint you as the head of the Spina in Simulanka? While I'm off fighting the dragon with the other heroes, it'll be your responsibility to work with the guards and- What? You're planning on fighting- He's right! Your Majesty, you can't- How are you two on the same side? Perhaps Your Majesty is unaware of this. The great dragon suddenly broke out from the Titanium Mines one day. After that, it spat out a strange fog that surrounded a whole eye before your majesty arrived. Yikes. Isn't that all the more reason for us to go? King Navia is right. We cannot simply stand by and watch as the people of this world suffer. <sighs> very well. Though I have not served by your side for very long, your majesty. <laughs> You're a pretty... Um, he probably didn't mean that as a comp of... Since you're serious about this, I won't try and stop you. Oh, right. So there's a line going there? Yes. It was originally built to serve the worker. I'll tell the conductor to... Oh, thank you for your cons... Yes, yes your match. <laughs> You're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? Oh, cut her some slack. The travelers had a rough few days. We should just let her nap for a bit. Uh, but my... 
My leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set her down on the grass over there, Hakai? Ha! <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <sighs> She's awake. Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Milu's lap, so that's where you've been nap- Hi- Oh, no. It's all right. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? Really? What did the- the fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of- A traveler? Nilu. Oh yeah, he's a student at the academia. Well then, hello there, friend. Sure, whatever. Wait, Hakai, what's that sword around your waist? An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it. But no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called- The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. It's just that, this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all the- Looking for a I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge? Huh. Paimon's guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as- <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in hand. Uh, a dragon scale? Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little doot! Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! at me for he's obviously talking to you mr wheel you didn't get hurt oh not at all thankfully the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand <sighs> there seems to be a village over here some of the residents i see oh i'll help too apparently the villagers are now we should look around and what's wrong Milu? oh nothing it's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just... Huh. Guess this is the dragon's... Huh? We did... Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Ha... Oh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do... Do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Of course. 